Well, we'd like to thank you for joining Don Getling and Gino Franti on the National Real Estate Cafe, where today we look at national numbers to see how cities are doing across the country with appreciation. Yeah, because a lot of you are waiting for the shoe to drop, per se, and it isn't happening. The, the same markets tend to be really, really hot, especially the Pacific Northwest. So we thought we'd give you a chart so you can see how your state's doing. All right, let's go through some of the hot spots here. And, uh, you know, maybe not a surprise, but Las Vegas on fire, 11.1% growth year over year, Don. And then you got Seattle leading the charge still. I mean, Seattle has remained hot for months. I mean, they even have appraisal problems trying to get appraisals done. So Seattle's still at 129 this Surprise though, I saw Portland drop down to 7.1. That was also double digits for a long time. It does look like Oregon has finally cooled a little bit. So let's watch out for the adjacent states. Let's watch for Washington to cool in the next few months. Right. Uh, and that wouldn't be a bad thing. Let's m remember to remind everybody that if these things cool down a little bit, that's okay because those are you can't sustain double digit appreciation for a long time. How about San Francisco, one of the highest markets, highest sale price markets in the world? And it's at still double digits. Okay, so we were just talking about this on the break, and then we were talking about maybe it's the tech jobs, right? Mm -hmm. L.A. has a lot of great tech jobs coming to L.A., and we're starting to see you know, 7.5, 7.6. That's pretty solid. And just typically when you look at the, the entire country, there's just this migration west for some reason. And I don't know if it's tech jobs. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know what it is. Uh, but it looks like the West is doing a little better than the East. Yeah, I think it is tech jobs. I think you're right. You hit the nail on the head. So the only other states, you know, other than the Pacific Northwest and the West in general, basically, is Dallas pretty strong at 6.9%. A lot of jobs heading there. Texas has always been good. Charlotte, North Carolina, those probably most leaving California heading there. <laughs> yeah, or Denver. A lot of people leave California and go to Denver or, or right. Dallas. And then you got Atlanta at 6.5%. So they're still doing those okay. solid numbers. Solid numbers. So... As you can see, solid numbers across the board. This is the Case Shiller report that we watch on a regular basis. And the real estate market staying solid. We've been saying it for a long time. We've had doomsday or saying the market's going to tank at any time. And you've heard us over and over and over say that it's going to stay strong. And when we see it start to reverse in some way, we'll let you know. And we'll probably be about six months ahead of some of those naysayers. That's right. Uh, we'll start seeing some of these reports become trends. And that's what we're looking for. And once we start seeing a negative trend, we'll make sure to let you know. So get these on your phone so that you're in the know at NREC to the number 58885 or find out more at donandgino.com.